Mimir is a great DAC. It converts a digital signal to an analog one. And with Forkbeard, it does a little more. Yallerhorn is just an amp and there's no analog preamp in this system. But on Mimir, which I call just a DAC, I'm digitally adjusting the volume, even tapping once for just one step of attenuation. Let's get a little deeper into what Forkbeard can do with Mimir. Need to adjust the balance for any reason? You can touch the screen anywhere to bring it right or bring it left. Just slide your finger wherever you'd like. I'm just going to center it. There's a readout at the top to tell me where I am. Hmm, let's see what tone control does. I'll start with the digital equalizer for those imperfect recordings, rooms, headphones, or just your own personal preferences. Select the knobs and bring them up or down. Pinch for width. You can also slide the knobs left or right to change the frequency. It's a digital parametric equalizer. You're not stuck with only three particular frequencies. You get to choose them. It's fully adjustable. You can also select loudness, which boosts low and high frequencies at lower volumes, mimicking how your ear perceives sound. It shows the curve, and you can adjust how much of an effect it has depending on where you set your volume. It makes things sound richer and more natural at lower volume levels. If you have an analog source or need extra gain, you need to use an analog preamp. So I've added Saga 2 to my stack. As I raise the digital volume on Mimir, you can see how the visual volume bars change on Saga 2, which can help you stay beneath distortion and equipment stress, including your ears. Now I'm going back into Mimir's tone control. It's currently on flat, so it won't affect the system, but I want to do a little bit in here just to show you. It's always better to cut than add when using the digital EQ. In fact, I'll need to lower the digital volume if I want to add extra gain anywhere, but cutting and adjusting the width are just fine. I'm going to go push this up over here so you can see what I'm talking about in a little while. Now, let's go back to the whole stack. The red on Mimir's volume wedge shows where you might have distortion with some music. Best to adjust the digital EQ down, but remember, I went up with one knob. I should immediately lower the digital volume below the red to avoid clipping or distortion, but I'm just trying to show you stuff, so it doesn't really matter for this. I hope you enjoyed learning about the extended digital capabilities of Mimir with Forkbeard. Thanks for watching.